Spring and blowing rock normally means the start of a new business year with the arrival of visitors and seasonal residents. Rental spaces, parking spaces all fill as shops and restaurants get back to business. But as late winter 2020 began to give way to spring, a change came with the last snow and the first blossoms. We learned new terms like social distancing and new realities of shuttered shops, take out only restaurant food, face masks, gloves, and fear coming from a half world away in the form of something called COVID-19. The economic impact from the pandemic came fast and hard as many small business owners were blindsided by the order to shutter their businesses. The timing particularly bad for the small businesses of Blowing Rock, but a local group, the Village Foundation, met to decide how they might help. I'm Steve Frank with the story of the Rock United Relief Fund. Jim Pitts, Village Foundation Chair. Well, Steve, the Village Foundation is uh, an organization that was formed about three years ago uh, with the explicit purpose of providing uh, uh, funding for economic development and business development projects in the town of Blowing Rock. We had uh, the good fortune of Um, having an idea brought to us by Tim Hilton, who was uh, the person who conceived of this idea to create a relief fund that might help the businesses in the town of Blowing Rock. And as Jim was saying, um, we were focused on our next big project in Blowing Rock. About that time, Tim Hilton, a friend and resident of Blowing Rock, called me one morning and said, John, we Um, We need to do something uh, to help our businesses. It's always a danger uh, to come up with an idea in Blowing Rock because it'll come back on you. So I called him back and said, I think this is what we should do. Great idea. I want you to chair the Grants Review Committee. The Village Foundation, with John Aldridge's leadership, was able to raise um, in excess of $100,000. And when you consider that that's coming from um, a Go, uh, GoFundMe page where you're getting fifty to a hundred dollars, all the way to people that are giving a few thousand dollars. It was a very nice broad mix of contributions throughout the community, and and really represented a ground roots effort that um, really made a big difference. Um, because we have committed to distribute all the money raised, a hundred percent of it, we are going to continue to make grants. Or, provide grants and review the needs of of those that have come to us and we will distribute all of that. But those expenses that are incurred are being paid for by the Village Foundation and not out of the Rock United Relief Fund. What came in on the GoFundMe page with a couple hundred dollar donation that were just visitors that saw it and said yes how can we help? I don't think that exists in other communities. So not to the degree it does here. And we were so very appreciative to, you know, for people we didn't even know to come up and say, we're going to help you guys out. I mean, we're, <laughs> you just don't get that very often. And, and we, you can't imagine how grateful we are. But I can, you know, good neighbors, good neighbors, good, you're good friends. And, you know, thank to everyone in Bowling Rock for the support. To me, that's a lot. There is a lot. You know, if you're a quilter or a crafter or you like handmade things, you know, this is the kind of shop that you seek out. And so, um, you know, I debated a little bit about, you know, is that something that I need to apply for? And I looked at the application and I spoke with a couple folks and realized, you know, this is something that could really help. Um, and then I saw um, the fundraising efforts and realized that, wow, folks are being so generous. You know, people who have no idea who I am. Or, you know, they don't know my name, they don't know my family, they don't know, you know, my history or why I started this, but they're believing in me and they're excited for, you know, what Downtown Blowing Rock is. They believe in what Downtown Blowing Rock has to offer. Um, And as a small business owner, that was just a boost just to know that, you know, there are people out there who haven't met me who believe in what I'm doing and want to support me and want to see me on the other side. 
As Blowing Rock is returning to its role as the pinnacle of high country mountain towns, there are still needs you could help address. Blowing Rock Cares Food Pantry at Rumpel Memorial Presbyterian Church provides food boxes for schools and other churches throughout the county each week. And food and monetary collections take place regularly during office hours. Thanks to all who have helped and continue to help their neighbors.